So, I'm going to get started with, oh, and she's going to be wearing this orange, it's like a rust orange, burnt orange colored hat. It's really pretty. Her sister is wearing uh, the purple, which is her. I have to fix it. She's not all the way done, actually. I gotta um, get her collar permanently attached, and I still am gonna paint this back here. But she's wearing the uh, purple hat. It's really pretty. It has spiders on it, and she's in a purple theme. Her eyes. Okay. She's going to be in the orange theme. Okay, so I'm going to take my number two round brush. Get started with outlining. And let's get her done. So that she can get sold. The sisters will be sold separately. Um... Even if a person was to buy both of them, there will be two separate shipping charges because I ship my heads separately in their own box. And that's for to make sure they're safe. Thank you, Linda. Yeah, he's so cute, huh? Look at him. I'm just waiting for his hat. His hat is supposed to be here possibly Friday. And uh, he'll be in the Christmas auction. So for anybody that's not aware, I'm having a Christmas auction on November 1st. It'll be at 1 o'clock. And under the events section, I have, um, I have the auction set up. So if you go in there and click going or remind it'll send you a reminder as the day gets closer i also post pictures of the heads that will be in the auction and as i make them i add the pictures so if you're curious which heads will be in the auction just go to events and you'll see them there i know denise I was up and ready to do this bright and early. Oh, he's awake. <laughs> My husband's working from home today and tomorrow, so... Tried to do this before he started, but he's up now. All right. Maybe a little bit thicker. And this one I just want a little higher because she's looking upward. Okay. And I'm going to go to my number zero outliner. My hand does not feel as steady in the morning. <laughs> I don't know why. So she's going to be an orangish, orangish theme. Her sister is purple. I decided to change the colors up from the sisters because I figured, well, they don't always have to be the same color. And if I mess up on the outlining, I'm not super worried about it because I could 
fix it or try to fix it. Like this one, I made a little thick. But she's going to have eyelashes. Eyelashes hide a lot of flaws. <laughs> hey, Deb. Good morning. Thank you. You have a blessed day as well. I feel tired still. I didn't stay up late. Okay, so let's outline her eyeballs. I usually have trouble. I was just telling the ladies in my group. Um, when the eyes are looking a different direction, sometimes I have trouble shaping them properly. So hopefully they'll turn out. I had to keep going and referencing my other sisters. I still, my Halloween wreath that I made. Okay, see that eyeball has to come up. Dang it. Um with the sisters last year I still have them I still have them hanging they're hanging year round in my living room we'll just give her a little bit of an open mouth just a little just a little this is normally not her expression but I had trouble giving her her expression. So I'm like, eh, I'll just give her a little sneer. Just a little sneer. fix that. I screwed up on her lip. Okay. Pupil is where I have trouble. I'm just gonna, I'll end up losing it probably while I make the eye, but I'm just gonna put it there for reference. Easy. So, see, she needs to be angled to be looking at her kind of look at each other like this. They sneer at each other. Okay, so I'm not too happy with her mouth. I'll leave that for now. Alright, so I was thinking of doing kind of goldish colored eyes. So I'm going to get the base color on there, let it dry, and then I'll start working on it <clears throat> after it dries. So I'll use my number two. And this is actually um, Craftsmart. It's champagne gold. It's a pretty color. Just go in. okay if I go out of the lines go into the pupil it's all right it'll all come together always remember if you're painting if you make a mistake go out of the line it's all right you could fix it don't get frustrated you could always fix it just hope her eyes look okay with the way they're positioned so while that is drying I'm gonna go in with some white and do the white of her eyes. So in the first coat. I'm 
go back in with the gold. I didn't put my blending gel on, but let's see if my black is still enough wet. We're gonna shadow. Do I have anybody here still? Um, gonna shadow her eye into the white, so it has more of a natural look. We got a lot of colors in our eyeball. Stacy, I see on a little. Oh, okay. I couldn't see. I didn't see any more comments. I'm like, is there anybody there? Or I guess they're just watching the painting. Enjoying some painting. Just kind of shadow around the eye. A little over here. Are not our eyes are not perfectly white, even if we use visine. If you really look close at your eyes, there's tons of colors, red, blue, all little vessels in there. Now 17. <laughs> Yay. I have tons of followers, but I don't get a lot of people that um, watch. I don't think they like to watch the painting. I think they just like to see the finished product. <laughs> okay, so now I am going to add a little bit of tear duct to make it look like she's got her tear duct. So <clears throat> I'm going to take my red, my Tuscan red, and some white. Create like a rosy color and I'm just gonna dab a little bit here in this corner and then go back to the white and just kind of dab it in there get off my brush doing the eyes is might be a little easier using blending gel. I just forgot to put it on, but it worked out okay. Just a little pinkish is all you want. Unless you're good at doing tear, dot, tear ducts and you can get all fancy in there, I can't. <laughs> Maybe make some come over to the water line. A little bit. Okay. 
Okay. All right, hey Summer, my cousin, I just saw she joined in. Can you get me a, a small bottle of Dr. Pepper? Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my uh, eyeshadow palette. I'm going to do some shadowing underneath her eye for that smoky look. If you get in areas that you don't want, it's fine. It'll wipe off easy with water. Go ahead and give her a wing too. I didn't get her a wing. <clears throat> I'm gonna reshape my paint. Not too worried about getting them totally perfect because I'm going to blend eyeshadow into this. Well, not actual eyeshadow, but paint. Computer. So I use a half inch, a half inch flat, and I wanted her to have um, more of the orangish colored theme to match her hat, because this is her hat. So I have. Um, I have bright copper. It's um, the metallics of Deco Art. 
So I was thinking, thank you, thank you, Linda, for sharing. I appreciate it. Thank you. I thought I would try this. Um, I'm not sure yet. I, I think I want to do black into the bright copper. Maybe I'll do a light white up here. I'm not sure yet. But I'm going to start by blending the black and the copper together. I was going to do just orange, but uh, I found this in my paints. I wanted to use this. And I thought, if you see here, you know, it's, it's lighter, but it's the shimmery, and I think it'll look nice. I might even do a gold glitter eye, um, eye, eye line. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that yet. Either. Okay. So, just taking some. Did you remember my Dr. Pepper? <sighs> taking some black. And. I use the pointy part to go closer inward to the eye here. So I want that to be darker. So I'm going to put right on that corner some black. And the bright copper on the other side. And then I'm just going to load my brush by doing this. You want to load your brush to get as much of the paint in it as you can. Just repeat this a couple of times. This is a nice um, Halloween color for her. Okay, so I think it's loaded pretty good. And it usually falls up here on each side, so I just tap it gently so that I don't end up with a ball of paint right here in the corner. <coughs> so I don't have a lot of room to work with. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Do I have like an octopus arm to reach out, I guess? My well, I didn't want you to open it because it fell over. Oh, okay. So I'm going to follow along the eye line first. And if I go into the eyebrow, it's okay because I can fix that. So I just don't want to go into the eye and ruin what I just did. I'll flip her over and just go back over what I just did. <laughs> You don't want no ridges, so get rid of any ridges. I'm going to come back with a little more of the bright copper. And go upwards. I'm going to lift my brush up to not grab all of that black. Flip her over. Do the same thing. Again, I might put some white there. I don't know. You can see that I did pick up some black there and I don't want to. Now you could always take your number two and just kind of blend. We want these to really come. <coughs> Blending gel is a really good idea. Also, oh shoot, did 
just drop some water there. And I'm just going to kind of blend this into each other. Keep wiping off the excess paint. Just so you get a nice blend. This is going to have a sharp, you know, um, a sharp edge on it, but that's okay because we don't want her looking soft. She's a witch, so I'm going to add a little more here. Ah, I picked up too much black um, orange. Hey, Yolanda. Okay, so a touch more. Ah. Be careful, you um, don't want to get it looking nice and then go in and mess it up by not cleaning your brush. Yeah, I could hear him. I could hear he's there. I'm just going to kind of straighten this out there. All right, so let me just fix the eyebrow because I did mess it up. I think that's going to look nice with her cat. Probably blend it a little bit better. There's one eyeball. Hi, Angie. Hey, Bobby. So there's one. Now we're going to go and do the other one. Now don't forget, this eyebrow was much higher because she's looking up at her sister. So do the same thing. Put the black on the inside corner right copper on the other side and just load your brush I actually need some more <sighs>
All right. So when I do this side, I turn it upside down. Now I don't have a lot of room, so this worries me a little bit. So I'm going to slap my brush up. So I don't want it. it's okay if I go on the eyebrow, I can fix it, but if I go over it, it's just it's more of a fix. So line it up as I come there. I'm just gonna kind of lift it a little bit. Go back down. Turn it around. Hey, Janice. My cousin Janice just popped in. Okay, so let me get this orange up here. Using number two to get all in that stuff there. Just blend, blend, blend. Thank you for the like. I just saw a light go across the screen. Thank you. <clears throat> just trying to get a nice blend in this. Okay, let me fix her eyebrow. Yay, thank you for the hearts. Okay. 
Okay. Now let me just fix this corral. does need to be triple thick on her eyes and she needs some eyelashes but I don't want to put the eyelashes on until um, until I get her lips done because um, when you do the eyelashes you got to keep them pretty stable so her base paint I used on her is Irish Moss. It's this one. I'm just going to do a, actually, let me triple thick her eyes while I, uh, before I do a touch up. So that'll give it a chance to dry before I get glue on her eyes for the eyelashes. But that makes them look more realistic. It goes on, looks nice and wet. And when it dries, it stays looking wet. You gotta be careful though, because it will drip. Hopefully that pupil dried. I'm just dabbing it because this is eyeshadow. If you uh, try to run your brush across it, you'll just smear it. Okay, so her eyes are triple thicked. Let that dry. I'm going to do a quick touch up on her eyebrows before I start on her lips. Shoot, I have to do her hair. Dang it, I can't get her hat on until her hair is done. So I think, let me think here, um, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of her hair because I want it to dry. Um, I want it to dry before I get her hat on.
kind of making lines where I'll be putting it. I'm going to do her hair just like I did the other one. It's just very simple. It's just a kind of like messy little pixie there. And I will be painting the back. But just like that. Okay, so let me get my big brush so I can get a bigger area of paint on her head. using an eight filbert so I get more coverage. Okay. Oh, sorry, I didn't see any questions. What is the name of the paint on the nail clip? Oh, here, I'll show you. Uh, Denise is right, this is triple thick. I use it on the eyes and the lips, made by Deco Art. It's a glossing glaze. I'm still gonna finish the rest of her head probably with Duraclear, um, but I like the eyes, the eyes and the mouth to have that extra shiny look. So I just go sideways with my filbert to give that wispy little look there. Just makes for a cute little pixie. Thank you, Jamie. I do too. I, I love the, the hair. It's very simple. Um, and to me, it just, it goes really good for the look I'm going for. Um, and it's a really simple to do. You just kind of drag your brush. You just do it sideways. And it's a cute hair, not just for the witch, but for any head. I'm going to make this side. This is going to be hidden in her hat, so I want it to kind of show. So let's see, I'm going to do, uh, let's see, I'm going to do a black outline and then um, I am going to use my blending gel for this. Ouch. Because I want it to like be gradient 
ombre style, you know, blend into the orangish color. So first I'm going to take my zero outliner and just go over the outline that I did that a little thicker. thinking about using a no I don't want to go with too light of an orange and number two is a bright copper let's get this all in here well wow. Oh, wait, no, I'll do this first, then I'll put my blending gel. That was stupid. I should put my blending gel on first. There's lots of hair. There you go. That was dumb. That was dumb. Get my blending gel on time. Oh, the top lip. Just add a little bit to that. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Um, Carol. Oh, Carol Sue. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm just waiting for his hat to arrive. Um, it's supposed to come by Friday. So as soon as his hat arrives, he'll be ready for the auction, Christmas auction on November 1st. It will be a Facebook live auction here on my page at 1 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, which is California time. And if you go to my events, I have the auction listed there. And as I make heads that will be in the auction, uh, you'll see them there. You'll get to see all the heads that will be in the auction. And my daughter with Chanel's Creepy Creations mm -hmm. has also created an awesome head to be auctioned off as well. You will see him in the events. Awesome, Carol Sue. That should be fun. It's not going to be as big as my Halloween extravaganza. I had like 35 heads on that, on that auction. 
My Halloween one is the big one. The Christmas one, I, I'm going to have maybe, um, there might be between 18 or 20. Something like that. Okay, so I'm just going to go in and kind of, I have to look at her string on, sorry. i got to fix the, the lip outline. And go up. more of this copper here. I don't have blending gel on this brush. Hold on. Get some on there. All right, now we need to have her teeth. So again, the sisters will not be in the auction. She, they're going to go straight to my shop because they're more Halloween-y. This is still, you see how it looks? I don't know if you can tell. It's like, wow, it looks like it's super wet, right? Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's because it's triple thick. Awesome. Um, I was debating on using... Uh, glitter eyeliner but I don't want her to be super different from her sister other than the color so I think I'm going to leave it like that alright <coughs> let's go to the eyelashes oh and then I got to do her collar so let's see <coughs> Like thick and full. Make sure it's a little different than her sister. Let's see, let's go ahead and get some bottom ones on her right now. I'm not going to use as full as I did on the other ones. There's a little difference between them. When you put the bottom eyelashes on your heads, you take an eyelash. Normally this one would go on the left. <laughs> But because I'm using it as a bottom eyelash, I turn it upside down and I use it on the other eye. Okay? <clears throat> and I use tacky glue. Whoa, I just opened a new bottle. I forgot. I stuck my brush all the way in there thinking I had to go down further. And 
And I like to put just a little bit on the actual head. And then for the bottom lashes, you want to put, do not put the glue up here because your eyelash will dry going upward. Uh, you have to really be careful. You have to really monitor the lashes because once they dry with this tacky glue, they're there permanently. If you take them off, you're taking paint off with it. And it's very common for the lashes to move around a little bit during drying. So don't put them on and then leave. You've got to, you've got to constantly adjust them and make sure they're okay um, until they get a nice uh, hold and attached well. If they're too, if they end up wanting to be too flat, just put your like brush under it and then set your brush on something that'll help them dry lifted. Okay, so there's her bottom. And then we'll do the bottom on the other side. They're a little easier to control, so. But drying wise, I've had some dry um, in bad positions. That's why I know I always keep my eye on them now until they have a nice firm hold. My very, very first heads, I used to use eyelash glue. But I don't recommend that to use tacky glue. I don't know if I'm going to double them. I doubled her sisters. I did double those. But mm -hmm. these might be nice. Glitter. Some glitter fell on these. Okay, I'm going to use this one. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Well, I could have doubled them like her sister, but hold on, I still might do that. Still might. They're not going as far in as I would like. So, take them off. I'm just going to put them
so they're a little bit longer. Try to get it as close as possible to the other one. Don't put too much glue. <clears throat> if you put too much, it'll take forever to dry and they will really slide around. Okay, that's better. Forever. Okay. I just want a little bit of the other one. Oh wait, more of the corner of the eye. Keep your eye on, uh, and also look like this to see if you can see part of the eye. And if so, then you could uh, kind of adjust it. But I say it all the time. I just can't emphasize enough. Keep your eye on the eyelashes. Because they do move. Even when you think it's dry. And it's been long enough. Just. Keep checking them because tacky glue does not glue instantly like hot glue. It takes a while. Okay, there she is. She still needs her little collar. So let's do a collar. Let me just get rid of my eyelashes. black felt. Okay. Thank you, Jamie. Yeah, I like her. I like the colors. Oh, pick 
pick up all the glitter and fuzzies. All right, let's see. Let's see here. One to go into the other right there. So I'm just going to take some felt, fold it over, you can use um, larger pieces to make a higher collar um, with them, I just went with a short collar because they have a, they have a pretty hat, you know. You don't have to really worry about getting too fancy on the collar. Um, where are my stick pins? I have one. I don't have any more black, so I'll have to paint the stick pin, but. it right there, fold her collar over, let's go ahead and put a dab of black on there, just a dab, and let's see it, you could put a nice little brooch on there, or a spider, I've done a few with spiders that look really nice. Wow, she looks so nice. All right, um, I think, I think I can do her hat just to show you. But the hats come, they're headband hats. So what I do is, I just take some wire cut or wire cutters, what they're called, and I just snap that right off like that, both sides, like that, move stuff out of the way here so I can give you a better idea what they're going to look like. I really need another stick pen. So I like the hats kind of at an angle. So I just, hello. It's great what I do with the pin. Right? Um, I still have to paint her whole head, so I'm not going to permanently attach this. I'm just going to stick it on here so that you can see what she looks like and then fix the little veil. Oh my gosh, I just love the sisters. The first pair I made, um, well, let me check those eyelashes, keep your eye on them. The first pair I made were in June or July of 2019. Yeah. Hi, Georgia. That's okay. Replay will be available. Let me just do a little triple thick on these lips. So you can, uh, again, I'm going to put a finish on her. But I have to paint the rest of the back of her head. So don't forget everyone to share, like and share the video. I know not everybody likes the process to making these, the painting. But some people do. Some people like to watch the painting. Okay, so you're ready to see them together. Um, I might have to... Ooh, well, I still got to fix her collar 
too. Um, so I gotta finish the back of her head. Let me see if I can get you guys far enough out to see how they look together. So they're made to look at each other in a sneering way. However, like I said, they are being sold separate, so you know, you don't have to be together. Whoa. But they kind of look like this at each other. I don't know if that's a good view for you guys, but one's looking up, sneering, the other one's looking down. I don't think I don't think it's out far enough. Try it better. Let me close that window too. I don't know if you can. The lighting might be kind of bad. Oh, that didn't really help much, did it? Okay. So. I don't have names for them. I've just always called them the sisters. So. That's how they look. One sneering at the other. Um, they look awesome in a wreath. But again, if you want to purchase them separately, they will be sold separately because they're going to ship separately. So there they are. So thank you all for joining. Hope you like this. And uh, I can't wait to make some more sisters. I'm hoping to do different expressions next year. All right, thanks, you all. Thank you, Carol Sue. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you, everyone. I will see you soon.